वेलकम बैक ऑल ऑफ यू टू द ऑनलाइन क्लास ऑफ बायोलॉजी वंस अगेन सो वी वेर स्टडिंग चैप्टर टेन सेल साइकिल एंड सेल डिविशन एंड वी हैव ऑलरेडी कंप्लीटेड द टॉपिक माइटोसिस ओके द इंटरफेस एंड द एम फेज वी हैव ऑलरेडी कंप्लीटेड सो वॉट आर द अडवांटेजेस ऑफ माइटोसिस माइटोसिस इज ऑल्सो नॉन एज वॉट इक्वेशनल डिविशन ओके एंड इट इज रेस्ट्रिक्टेड टू deployed cells i told mainly it is uh, what in animals deployed cells only can undergo uh, what uh, the mitosis but in some plants lower plants and also in certain uh, very few insects very very few insects like what have you heard about uh, this uh, parthenogenesis where unfertilized egg develop into individual okay so uh, this can be observed in certain insects like uh, honey bee so in this very few organisms only what uh, the haploid cells can also undergo mitosis okay so so if a cell undergoes if a diploid cell undergo mitosis two daughter cells will form both of them will have what diploid content of chromosomes understood and if a cell okay in case of i told the uh, the males males of the uh, honey bees okay they are uh, formed by parthenogenesis the unfertilized egg will develop into uh, males there so in that cases also you can see if a cell with haploid or in case of uh, plant uh, lower plants understood uh, gamete uh, gametophyte is the prominent phase in them understood so in this kind of cells the haploid cell is undergoing mitosis and the daughter cells also will have haploid set of chromosomes okay so the growth of multicellular organism is due to what mitosis understood so uh, cell growth results in the uh, uh, in disturbing the ratio between the nucleus and the cytoplasm as the cell grows what happen there will be difference in the ratio of the nucleoplasm nucleus and the cytoplasm this triggers the cell to undergo uh, cell division so uh, to what for to maintain the uh, nucleo cytoplasmic ratio and it, this is the trigger for the uh, division of a parent cell okay then so for the normal growth of an organism is due to what cell uh, division or mitosis okay the uh, cell division that involves in the growth of the organism is cell uh, sorry mitosis okay then another important feature is what the uh, in the process of cell uh, repair okay if any uh, cell got damaged that time the body has to repair this so this repair is also due to what mitosis understood then uh, some cells in the body like uh, lining of the gut okay blood cells rbcs are continuously get uh, means uh, they they are forming in our body isn't it so these formation of the cells are also due to what mitotic division and you can see that the apical meristem lateral cambium etc uh, help in the growth of the plant and they are also mitosis is the main uh, type of cell division that involves okay so mitosis helps in the growth of the organism okay the growth of the body is due to what mitosis and also in the process of uh, what repairing okay uh, and in the formation of some of the cells in the body all this are depends on mitosis okay so uh, after mitosis a single cell or a parent cell will provide or that will get divided into two daughter cells so how many daughter cells will form after mitosis two cells okay two daughter cells will form and the uh, content the chromosome content will be same as that of the parental cell okay there will be the number of chromosomes in the daughter cells and in the parent cells will be same is it clear so this is what mitosis i uh, hope you understood how mitosis is taking place how the equal distribution of chromosomes to the daughter cell is done through different stages like what prophase metaphase anaphase and telophase okay so now let's study the next topic that is meiosis 
so you have studied that meiosis is a kind of cell division that takes place during the gametogenesis what do you mean by gametogenesis formation of gametes why it is important we have studied in 10th class itself why because uh, in sexual reproduction the offsprings are produced by the fusion of male and female gametes so uh, each should have each male and female gamete should have only haploid set of chromosomes otherwise what would have happened the chromosome number will get multiplied isn't it uh, of the uh, means in the progeny so uh, meiosis help in uh, what in keeping the number of chromosomes of the may, uh, the parents and the offspring same how because gametes are produced after meiosis that ensures the chromosome number of the gametes will be half of the parent cell so once again this haploid gametes when they fuse the number of chromosomes will become same as that of the parents okay so this kind of uh, division which reduces the chromosome number by half is known as is also known as what reductional division so meiosis is known as reductional division and mitosis is uh, known as equational division because the number of chromosomes will be same in case of mitosis but in meiosis it is how it is it is only half the chromosome number becomes half so meiosis ensures the production of haploid phase in the life cycle okay of uh, sexually reproducing organisms but fertilization restores the diploid phase okay so we have studied the alternation of generation in where in plants isn't it in plants Uh, gam uh, the gametophytic phase and sporophytic phases alternating each other we have studied that so now you uh, remember uh, recollect it once again that is the meiosis help in what reducing the chromosome number into half okay and uh, it helps in uh, the haploid phase of a uh, haploid phase of uh, the life cycle of an organism but uh, the uh, the uh, fertilization they, they restores okay the diploid phase is it clear then let's see how this meiosis takes place meiosis actually takes place in two phases that is meiosis 1 and the meiosis 2 okay understood but the uh, uh, there will be only a single cycle of dna replication dna replication takes place only once but this procedure okay continues in two two stages that is meiosis 1 and meiosis 2 and meiosis 1 is initiated just after the parental chromosome half replicated to produce identical sister chromatids at the s phase we have studied no s phase so in s phase actual replication of dna takes place isn't it and then uh, other uh, different features are involving in meiosis like what pairing of homologous chromosomes then recombination etc and we will study that in detail in between okay and after meiosis a parental cell will get reduced uh, will get divided into four cells is it clear after uh, mitosis the parent cell is getting ready uh, getting divided into two having the same number of chromosomes as that of the parent cell but in case of uh, in case of meiosis a parent cell will get divided into four cells okay that we will study in detail how it is happening and each cell will have only half the set of the chromosomes okay half of the chromosomes of the parental cell so let's study each step okay the first we will study about the meiosis 1 and then we will go to the meiosis 2 okay so you can see that meiosis 1 completes in different phases like okay uh, prophase 1 metaphase 1 anaphase 1 and telophase 1 okay and likewise meiosis 2 is also having different steps like prophase 2 metaphase 2 anaphase 2 and telophase 2 so the different stages of meiosis will be referred as prophase 
prophase 2 uh, metaphase 1 okay anaphase 1 telophase 1 etc okay and if it is of meiosis 2 then it will be referred as what prophase 2 metaphase 2 anaphase 2 and telophase 2 is it clear simply if we are saying that metaphase means what it is the metaphase of mitosis is it clear and if it is referred as anaphase 2 you should understand that it is the anaphase of meiosis 2 is it clear and if it is telophase 1 it is it will be of the telophase uh, it will be the telophase of meiosis 1 is it clear so in this two different stages meiosis 1 and meiosis 2 the process of meiosis completes is it clear now let's study each phase in detail so the first one is prophase 1 so the first phase of my meiosis 1 is prophase 1 okay prophase 1 and prophase 1 is a extra long phase okay and for uh, further uh, to make the studies easy it is divided into uh, five different phases okay depends upon the chromosomal behavior how the chromosomes are behaving on this uh, in different uh, time okay depends on that uh, the prophase one is divided into different sub stages again okay so they are the first is leptotene okay zygotene pacotene diplotene and diakinesis this you have to learn okay leptotene okay first uh, phase is what leptotene then zygotene Pacotene, diplotene and diakinesis. Okay, once again, leptotene, zygotene, pacotene, diplotene and diakinesis. And let's see what is happening in all the stages. Okay, so, so during leptotene, it is the first stage where you can see chromosomes are formed okay chromosomes are formed from where from the chromatin network you know that chromosomes are uh, visible only during the cell division isn't it otherwise it will be just in the resting phase or in the interface phase uh, phase it will be just like the chromatin network isn't it thread like structure so in leptotin leptotin in, uh, is uh, a part of pro phase only so you can see the formation of chromosomes under the light microscope okay then uh, this during the leptotene phase slowly the compaction of chromosomes that is the uh, the formation of com uh, chromosomes okay will takes place and then the second phase is what zygotene so zygotene is uh, special why because here the pairing of homologous chromosomes takes place okay pairing of homologous chromosome is the important event that is taking place in zygotene so what is this homologous chromosomes you know that in a human cell 23 pairs of chromosomes are there isn't it so in that each pair okay for example second pair or uh, the third pair or you can say 12th pair so this 12th pair each individual chromosome will have the same size okay same number of chromosomes and they will carry uh, the genes okay which are also same for example uh, what the insulin gene if you want to find out that will be i mean uh, not exactly just a, a one uh, example i am giving if it is in the uh, 23rd uh, sorry 20, uh, 12th chromosome uh, you can see that two genes will be there okay two genes or two alleles will be there you have studied in 10th class isn't it two, two alleles will be there in the same chromosome you can see uh, the, the alleles or the genes of this two chromosome of a pair will be same okay they are the chromosome size will be there their number of chrom genes will be same so that kind of chromosomes are known as what homologous chromosomes so in zygotene what happened the chromosomes the homologous chromosome will pair okay and this process of association of this homologous chromosome is called synapsis okay what it is synapsis not synapse it is synapsis okay synapsis is the process of pairing of homologous chromosomes called 
okay now uh, if you see through the electron microscope the chromosome that chromosome synapses is accompanied by the formation of a complex structure that is known as synaptino synaptonimal complex okay so what is synaptonimal complex the complex formed complex structure formed by the synapses of what homologous chromosome is called what synaptonimal complex understood then and the complex formed by the pair of synapsed homologous chromosome is called what a bivalent or a tetrad okay what it is bivalent or a tetrad and then this will be more visible in the next stage that is in the pacotin and this two phases what are they leptotin and zygotin they are the uh, what short lived phase when compared to the uh, what to the uh, other phases the next phase is what pacotin okay and during this phase the tetrads how the tetrads uh, are arranged each uh, centromere will have two chromatids isn't it uh, because already dna is replicated and then what uh, and likewise two chromosome two homologous chromosomes will be there in each tetrad isn't it or in the uh, bivalent okay bivalent or tetrad we call it as okay and you can see the most important feature of this phase is the presence of uh, uh, what the presence of certain recombination nodules okay that no means the place at which the non sister chromatids okay so what do you mean by this non sister chromatids so in a bivalent you can see like this two chromosomes okay homologous chromosomes each of this are what homologous chromosome and each chromosome in this pair will have two chromatids isn't it and this two chromatids are known as what sister chromatids isn't it and this two chromatids these are the chromatids of two different chromosomes isn't it of a a uh, homologous pair this two are what non sister chromatids and this two are also non sister chromatid so in between the non sister chromatids okay there uh, occurs certain crossing over means what there are certain areas where the exchange of genetic material takes place okay understood so crossing over is a process where the two non sister chromatids of homologous chromosomes they cross each other and in the point of crossing over there will be exchange of genes okay so this process is called what crossing over and this is the major event that is taking place where in the pacotin understood and this is a uh, enzyme mediated process and the enzyme involved in this is recombinase what it is recombinase is the enzyme that is involved in the process of what uh, recombination okay so this will lead to the recombination of genetic material do you remember when we studied the uh, the uh, dye hybrid cross in 10th class we have studied that uh, after in the f2 generation there were some recombinants which were not there in the parents isn't it tall uh, and uh, what uh, two combinations when we take okay round yellow and wrinkled green uh, what characters were taken in the uh, for the uh, what hybridization and you could see that there were some new recombinants like what uh, round and green and wrinkled and yellow okay round yellow were only there in the parents but when f2 generation formed you could see some recombination and this is due to what this exchange of materials that takes place genetic material that is taking place during the crossing over understood uh, you have studied that in 10th class isn't it now this uh, recombination okay will be completed by uh, the end of the pacotin and you can see that Uh, the chromosomes linked at the site of crossing over okay wherever uh, the crossing over takes place took place there the chromosomes will be seen linked okay so this is the long phase okay which uh, which one the uh, the crossing over 
okay that phase that is the packetin phase can be a longer phase then the next phase is what diplotin diplotin is characterized by the dissolution of the synaptonemal complex okay and the other tendency is what the recombined chromosomes of the bivalent or the tetrad okay the individual chromosomes of a pair they try to separate from each other except in the site of the crossover wherever they crossed over wherever they exchanged the except that phase what they do they started they will start repelling each other they start separating from each other and wherever they are crossed over okay there you can see that certain uh, what uh, x shaped structure and these are known as the chiasmata okay so uh, x shaped structures called chiasmata will be seen in where diplotin because of the tendency of the uh, but diploid uh, sorry the uh, the members of the bivalent to separate from each other except in the site of crossover so the chromosome appear as x shaped structures and they are this bands that occurs uh, in the place of uh, crossover in the chromosome is known as what chiasmata and this chiasmata can also be seen for or this uh, site this phase can be last for months or years in certain vertebrates okay so this is also a longest phase when compared the first two phases okay and the last phase is what the diakinesis okay so diakinesis is uh, characterized by the terminalization of chiasmata okay so terminalization of chiasmata happens because of what because the repulsion between the two indi individual of a pair continues and they start moving apart and this pushes the chiasmata chiasmata is the place where they crossed over to the terminal side or to the end of the chromosome and uh, this is the characterized uh, characteristic of feature of what diakinesis okay uh, so during this phase you can see the chromosomes will be condensed and the meiotic spindle is assembled to prepare the homologous chromosomes for separation understood and by the end of the diakinesis uh, the nucleolus disappears nuclear envelope also breaks down okay so why because it is the it is coming under prophase only in prophase we have studied that isn't it what nucleolus and nuclear uh, envelope disappear so the same thing you can see here also okay so once again we will recollect the different phases of uh, prophase 1 that is leptotin cygotin pack, uh, then uh, what uh, packetin diplotin and diakinesis okay let's continue this in the next tip, uh, class you please go through the uh, topic thoroughly and prepare well